Welcome, this is David Nguyen from My Browse Academy, all right? Grace Young, she's helping me filming this one. I want to demonstrate here, you can see here, I have uh, I have three pigments. Number one, number two, and number three. They are three different brands, right? So now we want to test out for heavy metals, and that means uh, iron oxide, yeah? So which one? <laughs> which one contain iron oxide, and how do we know, yeah? Yeah, if you use magnet, there's no way. There's no way that you can use magnet. But I show you, just for fun. <laughs> Ready? Ready. Come very close. Yeah. You see very clear? Very clear. This one here. This yep. is number one, right? Uh -huh. So I'm going to draw up some of my chemical right here. Now they would come into contact soon, and you will see what happened if it has iron oxide. You see that? You see? <laughs> so this one, it has a little bit of iron oxide. You see? You see the thinning film on top? Very little. This one has very little iron right, oxide. Okay, so number one is okay. It's a fair little iron oxide. But look at this one. I'm going to chop my chemical right here. Alright. Now I'm going to gradually make it come into contact. Come on, come on. <laughs> you see the reaction is happening? You see? And that's pie of pigment will be going soon. You see? Actually on a uh, test tube you would see that it's going crazy. It's like burning. You see? This one has a lot of iron oxide in it. <laughs> you see how quickly this one dissolves it? Let me drop some more. Look. You see, it's going crazy. You see that? Okay, maybe I do this one as more. It's easier. Let me drop some in here, okay? This is my chemical. All right? Hey, don't slide. Look. <laughs> you see the reaction? You can really see it. Yeah, you can see it up there. <laughs> Can you see the reaction? It's an explosive reaction. Okay, let's try again. This is fun. Okay. Drop some in here. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to get this pigment. Just focus on that. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to get this pigment and you would see that it's exploding. It's explosive reaction. Look. Come on, come on. Come closer, closer, and then BAM! Come on. <laughs> you see the reaction? Extremely okay. fast. Now, let's do number three. You see, that's how we extract pigment or iron oxide pigment out of the skin. Alright, let me grab a Q-tip. Now, let's test with this pigment here to see if any iron oxide. So I grab a piece right here and see if something happened. You see? This one very little iron oxide. Very little. But it does use some iron oxide. You see? As you can see this one, the middle one, you see? The middle one extremely fast. This happened so quickly, right? So I squeeze out here just to demo again. Okay. Now, grab a tiny bit and then you would see exploding reaction. This is how you test for iron oxide. Or how you take iron oxide out of the... Come on. Come on, come on. Okay, let me take it some... You see that? <laughs> That's right. 
Wow, you see, you see how this song. Yeah. Anyway, uh huh. And you see right here. Look. You see what is left here? You see this thin film here? Can you see this one? You see this thin film here? Look at this one. Anyone? Can anyone guess? What is the residue on that one? Can you guess? Iron oxide. Iron. Not iron oxide anymore, it's iron. The black thin film right here that you see right here is iron. You see? Okay, iron. Pure iron, but it's very thin. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> so now we know which one has more iron oxide. That's how you test it. Now you're not going to use magnet. Yeah, we can solve. Yeah.